Maxwell Learning Center, and today we'll be going over the addition and subtraction of logarithms. So to be able to do this, you need to know at least three of the basic logarithm properties. So we're going to do log base a of x plus the log base a of y equals the log of x, sorry, log base a of x times y. So as we can see here, that they have the same base, and there's an addition in the middle. So that basically means that now we can move them under the under a similar base and multiply them together. The second one is basically that, but it's pretty much the opposite with the addition and subtraction. And then this is going to yield the division. So you can see that the addition and subtraction, addition leads to multiplication, and subtraction leads to division. And the third property we have is the log base a. So any number to a power, in this case the power is r, is equal to the, the basically the exponent in front of the logarithm. So like this. So basically you just take the exponent and you move it to the front. And that's going to be helpful when you try and solve problems with exponents. So let's try one now. So we have 2 log base 5 6 plus log base 5 of 4. So now we can we have to notice a few things at first. First we see that I have something in the front there, which, which, we, which we just went over, is that now this is probably going to have to move up to here when we're going to solve. They both have the same base and there's an addition. So now we're just basically going to combine all these factors. So the first thing we're going to do is bring the exponent back to the front. I'm oh, sorry, back to the where the exponent position is. And then I'm just going to rewrite what was already there. So now that we have this addition we can and the same base, we can see that now what we do is multiply them. So, and then it's going to be 6 squared times 4. Okay. Now, we're not finished yet because 6 squared and 4 can be multiplied together. But I'm going to move on to the next page. And I'm just basically going to rewrite what we just had. So then that is equal to log base 5 of 36 times 4, which then equals uh, 144. Okay, so that's the first problem done. So let's go on to a subtraction one. Now I choose a different color. So now we have 5 log base 5 of x minus log base 5 of 9. And so now what we what we did last time was take this 5 and move it to the front. So that's exactly what we're going to do now. So now we have log base 5 x to the 5th minus log base 5 9. Okay, so now we have this subtraction right here and the same basis. We can divide them. So we have log base 5 of x to the 5th divided by 9. And this is all in the same parentheses. Okay? So those are the two basic ones right now. Now, let's see if we can combine the two together. So we'll do log base 7 of x plus 6 log base 7 of y minus the log base 7 of 12. So we can see that now that we have a more complex uh, equation, we need to treat this a little bit differently. So we can see that they all have the same base, and we have an addition and a subtraction in this case. So what we did the first last time, again, is basically take this number here and make it an exponent. So we're going to do the same thing right now. So we have log base 7 of x plus log base 7 of y to the 6th minus log base 7 of 12. Okay, so now that we, oh, oops. So now that we have that, we can basically, I'm just going to do the first part and then I'll show you the next part. So I'm going to clean this and I'm going to rewrite what we just had. 
So we had log base 7 of x plus log base 7 of y over 6 minus log base 7 of 12. Okay, so we're basically going to start off with the log base 7 there. And because there's division, I know I'm going to need a big set of parentheses. So let's do the multiplication first. So we have x times y to the 6. And then now we have subtraction. That's just simply, that basically just now goes in the bottom. And that's it. That's all we have to do for that one. Okay. So let's see if we can go backwards. So we're going to take log base 15 of x squared times y to the fifth times z to the fourth. Okay, so now that we have this, we need to basically go from what we were doing, but we're basically going to go backwards. So you see that we have all these multiplication signs. That basically now means that we're going to have to add them when we bring it back out and to what its original equation would be. And so we're basically just going to do this right now. We're going to go to each one, and then we're going to just exa rewrite exactly what was in parentheses. Okay, so you basically, it's almost like distribution, but we're actually going to do uh, an addition sign instead. So now that we have this, we need to take our exponents and move them to the front of each part of the logarithm. Okay, so we'll do that now. So now we have 2 log base 15 of x plus 5 log base 15 of y plus 4 log base 15 of z. Okay, and that's it. That's all we have to do for this one. So let's try one more, which is going to be the log base 12 of z to the 4th over x 5th y to the 4th. Okay, so we notice here that we have 2 underneath the division symbol. Now, a lot of people get confused with this, and especially going from the other way, so let's try this. Okay, so now we have this one done. This one's okay. So now we're just going to do subtraction again. And then, once again, we still do subtraction. Okay, so what I was talking about before, how about people, a lot of people get confused. When they are given this as their first equation, um, people tend to think that... Um, this means that you're going to have z to the fourth over x to the fifth over y to the fourth. Luckily, that's not the case because otherwise, that, that, first, that would make it incredibly complicated, and the second, um, it's basically like the same idea as when we had the multiplication. When we had log base five z to the sixth plus log base six y to the fourth. We simply just made that into one. Oh, I ran out of room. We basically just made that into one um, logarithm, and they both they were both on top, so it doesn't really matter. So that's basically what we're doing here. So now, once again, going back to this equation, we're just going to take everything and move it back. So we have four log base twelve z. Uh, minus 5 log base 12 of x minus 4 log base 12 of y. So that completes today's lesson. Please come back for the solving of logarithmic equations. Thank you.